Yo, what is up, bros? We are throwing down a new game today. Cauldrons of War Stalingrad. Unlike any war game I have ever played. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just went through the tutorial. I disobeyed a direct order from the fear and I got... I got Monstein court-martialed and killed. So yeah, that literally just happened. Anyways, I was provided this game by the developer Maestro Cinetic and a gaming competition called Game Development World Championship where... Uh, small developers enter their games in this yearly competition. I guess it's free to enter. They can win prizes. And then there are weekly votes on games. So I will be providing a link to this game and to the competition. If you scroll down, you'll see the games up for this week. It's not just war games. It's like any genre of game that you could possibly think of. You can go over there and uh, vote on which ones you think are your favorite. I just wanted to give them a shout out. It's a cool competition. We're going to go ahead and play with the Germans. Uh, normal seems about good until I understand this game a little bit better. Yeah, early stages, May through June 1942. 1941 was a trying year for the Wehrmacht. Not only is the USSR still standing, but the Red Army has also harshly counterattacked throughout the winter. Greatly diminished German forces are preparing to revive the assault. There can no longer be any question of an attack on all fronts like last year, so a plan has been developed to destroy as many enemy forces as possible while seizing the oil wealth of the Caucasus. Until then, while waiting for our forces to be ready for the Great Summer Offensive, cleanup operations will be carried out in the regions of Izium and the Crimea in order to improve our starting positions and free the 11th army engaged in Sevastopol for other operations. Let's go. Earn victory points as follows. Capture Sevastopol, three points. Sevastopol resist, negative three points. The Soviets are driven out of Kerch, two points. Uh, per Soviet army or court destroyed, one point. See, when I was playing through the tutorial, this game is, it's like you're interactively learning while playing a game. So apparently, um, we're not ready to go until July 15th. Hopefully that is when this starts. So we got a decision to make here. Uh, we got 600,000 Italians, Romanian, and Hungarians. However, they're not very well equipped, but we're going to have to strip arms from German units in order to supply them. And I'm going to, I'm going to equip them. Our units from Army Group North and Center had already been heavily involved in replenishing the units participating in Operation Paul Blau. Needless to say, our generals took badly the fact of having to part with more material for the benefit of allies whose military value, which, in their opinion, too low to make a difference. All right, bro. So here is the front. We got a couple uh, battles going on. We got Paul Blau Phase 1. Uh, they're trying to get to Voronezh, it looks like. That would be the second army and the fourth panzer army. Look, it even tells you stuff about them. Going up against 13th, uh, Soviet army and the 40th. Oh, wow. Krakow offensive. Oh, it's the sixth army. It's huge. I was going to say, damn. We're up against the army group Bobkin, the 6th army, the 21st army, the 28th army, and the 38th army. We also got this, which is Operation... Operation Ferdicus? Um... Which is going to cut off the attack on Krakow. Which is the first pan... Ooh, nice. First panzer army up against the 9th army. And the 57th Army. We got this down here, which is the road to Rostov. Uh, we got the 17th Army against the 12th, the 18th, the 37th, and the 56th is in reserves. We got Sevastopol. Siege of Sevastopol. The 54th Corps. Oh. Oh, Siege Artillery. And the Romanian Mountain Corps. Coastal Army. Sabastopol's Navy. And Forts of Sevastopol. Then we've got Kerch Offensive. We got Grupa Mantaclot. 
uh, the 30th Corps and the 22nd Panzer Division using some old ass tanks, apparently. Do we have reserves? None there. We do have a lot of reserves here. First Mountain, 454th Security. Yeah, we don't want to send them in. Got the 3rd Romanian Corps, the 2nd Rom the second Romanian Mountain Division, the 3rd Romanian Mountain Division, Romanian Cavalry Corps, 1st Romanian Cavalry Corps, the 7th Romanian Cavalry Corps, the 9th, the 2nd Hungarian Army, uh, some Italian Bros, and Slovak Fast Division, with a few uh, being some obsolete crap. I guess let's start in the north here. Second army is pinned and the fourth panzer army is pinned. Well, I mean, you got two choices. You can sit there or you can't attack. I'm saying we attack. Break through. Actually, hold on. Can we, um, could we, yeah, let's shell. Soviet losses, minus three artillery, minus one cohesion, and then we can blitzkrieg them. Nice. Soviet losses, two artillery, three infantry, four cohesion, progress of operation, 28%. Isolated, stretched out lines, and exposed flank. Oh shit, I spent all the points right there. All right, so I hope the uh, sixth army can hold out here. Because I just spent everything I had available. There is one thing I want to do here. You know where I'm going. You know I'm going shelling. I would imagine we will shell for a while. Should we shell again? Why not? Shell again. Another three artillery down. And then I did want to start moving up with these guys. Um, did we just blitz? Why not? Soviet losses, artillery, infantry, and cohesion. All right, bros, that's it. Our first day of attacking. At some point, we're going to have to send in some reinforcements because I noticed like this takes two to hold the front and we only got one army helping the sixth army the violence of the attack on krakow took us by surprise general palace even momentarily lost his temper when he warned the high command that the sixth army was fighting for its survival the situation would not be so worrying if uh one of our largest supply poles was not located less than 20 kilometers away from Soviet troops, considerable amounts of fuel, ammunition, and supplies accumulated there for months in anticipation of Blau, plan which could fall into the hands of the enemy. A transient alert or a real threat at the general staff opinions are divided. Should we immediately launch Operation Friticus on the Izium salient to reduce the pressure on the 6th Army and surround the Soviets? I, I don't even need to read what came after that. We launch it. We launch it. The 17th Army is no longer pinned. The 1st Panzer Army is no longer pinned. Operation Fricus is launched. Army Group South Command plus two. Nice. The choice of this action seemed to have swept away the spirit of doubt that assailed our soldiers. The Panzers launched themselves into the great encircling movement, which, if carried out with diligence, will lock the Soviets of Izium and Krakow in a big bag. State of preparation. Oh, I, I attacked and it said I wasn't ready for, till July, didn't it? I'm not just going to sit there till July. What type of gameplay would that be? I'm going, I'm moving, I'm doing things. I'm making big moves. Look, we're already doing stuff. We're already moving up, guys. So I would say um, we need to send this. Was it this guy? No, is this one down here? Yeah, we need to send some backup to the 17th Army. We'll use the like a Romanian. Wasn't there a whole Romanian army? Or just cavalry? Here, we'll send the second Hungarian army 
We just need to find out where he goes here. Not that one. Not that one. Not that. There. Where did Rostov? Send it in the Hungarians! That'll get it taken care of. Alright, let's check on our north here. So yeah, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> we have no ammunition. No ammunition or fuel for our panzers. Hey, I just wanted to attack, right? I just... It felt right. See, what I don't know because I just started playing this is... I, if we just wait, will we just automatically be resupplied because it's building for all these uh, upcoming campaigns and missions? Or should I do it right now? That's what I don't understand. And it's just something that I guess will just come with playing the game. I mean, it sucks we have no supplies because the Soviets are isolated. They got stretch lines and exposed flanks. And we don't have... I don't know. Were we supposed to wait or not? I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and resupply. I think this is important. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. I'm learning along with you guys watching. Uh, let's grab this pocket here. So they attacked us and we held firm. No losses whatsoever. Which I think is a time to shell them. Nice. Two artillery, a truck, cohesion down. Uh, and okay, we already moved that one troop in there. I wish I knew. What I'm supposed to do? Oh, this guy's well supplied. Oh, yeah, we're blitzing, guys. We are blitzing. The pans are set off, ready to pierce the opponent's line. Oh, hold on. I got to get the right voice for this. The pans are set off, ready to pierce the opponent's line, supported by intense aerial bombardment. The defender's positions are strong and prepared. The fight will be tough. The defender's lines break down at several points, his losses being very significant. Overflanked from all sides, the defender allowed himself to be locked in a pocket. The offensive goes on. The defender threw his armored vehicles into battle. Without support and without inspiration, the battlefield has turned into a, a dumping ground for smoking carcasses. It was a god-forsaken bloodbath. Nice. All right, let's grab Sevastopol here. Uh, these guys went into reserve? Oh, they're out of ammo. Okay, well, that makes sense. Can you guys do anything? Yeah, you guys can shell too. I'm talking about just shelling the shit out of Sevastopol. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? And then we'll do something with these guys. Um... Exposed flank? Does that mean they got one unit? This bro just went to reserves. Uh, I would say, I would say, uh, I don't see a blitz. There's an armored assault intended to pierce the lines of the opponent. The only difference with the blitz action is that air support is not grouped with this action. I'm, I'm going to say we're going for an assault. It's we're slowly getting there. I wish I had time. I mean, it, it, I wish I could read all this out to you guys and check out every unit and read what they're about. That would just make the video take all day. Look, we're getting a little bit of success. To the north and south. That didn't really do much, did it? 4%. I wanted to check something as I'm learning this game. So they went into reserves. Uh, I wonder how long it takes to resupply. Okay, well, they're not completely out of ammo, even when it's zero. Artillery's can be limited to two shells per day. The surrounding army without ammunition surrenders. All right, so... I mean, what do we want to do here? Shell again with these guys? 54th Corps? I mean, we'll keep working them down. Look, they, 
look, they're trying and they're failing, is what I'm seeing here. All right, so these guys each have one munitions. I say we drive in with these guys now. It's a slog down here. Like, it's not going too fast. Progression-wise. We got an action point left. I think I'm going to resupply this. I'm going to go ahead and grab an ammunition resupply. This up here has been going well. I just keep feeling like we should keep pressing. We did get resupplied. I say... I'm saying we keep pushing with our uh, Panzer group. All right, we did. We lost an artillery there. We did lose an artillery. I'm going to keep banging away on this northern side. We lost another artillery. Did the uh, other guy get here? Remember we sent the... Oh, it must take a while. He has not arrived yet. I mean, I've attacked everywhere when I probably should have waited. What does it matter now? Let's go. I mean, does it really matter now? I don't think so. I've already probably screwed this up, but I'm having fun doing it. For some reason, I have, I've grown um, attached to this northern pincer. I really have. Let's resupply these guys. Um... Oh, it's an instant resupply? I didn't even notice that. Is that how it is all the time? Yeah, I didn't notice that. We can go ahead and shell now. I, I, I had no idea. I hadn't even noticed that it was already like that. Shit, Blitz! Nice. Look, they're both. They're running. Stretch line stragglers. We are making serious headway there. Back to Sevastopol. Shell with the big boys. I wonder how much shelling we actually need to do. Should we try to, um... Move up? We're gonna test it and see what happens. Well, did that guy ever... Was it down here we called him in? I can't even remember. Yeah, he did show up! He's there! Nice, he's in reserves, but he he's there. Look at the north. 54%. When it reaches 100, the operation is done. We are successful. And look at how much I've done! How's the Soviets looking? They are... They're fine. I mean, and we're doing fine just holding. I mean, we could... I don't even think we really need to shell, do we? Let's supply. God, should we just keep going? I'm saying we could do a... We could push a little bit more, though. While we got them on the ropes. Yeah, no progression, but we're... Taking it out on them. I should have shelled first, but I'll go ahead and... Shit, let's move up. Okay, I need to read these more often, at least the bottom part. Many soldiers have surrendered, and impressive columns of prisoners are being driven to makeshift camps. The 40th Army has ceased to exist. Captured trucks won. We just broke them. Not yet. They are gone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is nice. I'm liking this. But I do want to do more here. Um, pro Progress. This action increases the percent progress of the operation. Depending on factors. Let's do it. Progress of the operation, 92%? Are you shitting me? It's done! We just completed that step. No kidding. Damn. Alright, well... Oh, are these guys... They're exhausted. The coastal uh, army. Is this where we uh, pursue? Alright, let's shell with these guys. And let's move in... 
with the uh, 30th core. There we go. 3%. They're dug in there. Damn. The violent artillery barrage opens the way for the assault groups. The offensive goes on. The defender's lines break down at several points. His losses being very significant. So I think we've got enough here to take Sevastopol. Should we now add... I mean, they're attacking us here. Let's call these guys to the front. So we got two there. We've got... Yeah, they're just losing their asses everywhere. I think these guys need... Uh, I mean, a, <laughs> like a Romanian core, maybe, uh, or Italian. Yeah, you know what? Let's send some Italians their way. I just got to find the uh, right one. It's yeah, it's this one. So we got three action points here. Let's see what we can do. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to shell some more because I mean, yeah, they're starting to take some losses. The artillery is well supplied and it is with a hellish cadence that the enemy's positions are shelled, transforming the landscape into a lunar desolation. They just keep attacking and just keep getting hammered, man. It's not looking good for them. Still stretch lines, still exposed flanks. These guys are well supplied now. Should we do progress? See what happens. See if we can't wrap this up. Progress of the Operation 32. Let's do it with these guys too. We're about to wrap this up anyways. Only 2%. Hold on, we're done. We did it. We got new lines now. Yeah, we broke through on that. We just need these guys to do something. Get to the front. Because these guys are about... Oh, shit. I was going to Blitzkrieg up into there. Yeah, we got to cut him off. Should we try an assault again? 3%. Man, they are just held in there. 1%. Alright, so I think we will wrap this up when this completes the encirclement. I think that's what it's going for. Should we take Voronezh? A few days travel from our troops position extends the region of Voronezh. The city is an important railway junction for the Soviets. So the capture of the city by the Wehrmacht would greatly complicate the logistics of the Red Army. The region also has important Soviet aircraft factories. Finally, attacking the city would deceive the enemy at our, our intentions by making them believe Moscow is our main objective. While von Bach is a strong supporter of attacking the city, Hitler and Halder believe that the capture of Wernesh would distract us from our main objective to surround and destroy the enemy in the Don Loop, while we are engaged in a speedy race with the enemy en route. I mean, I'm almost with von Bach here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take Wernesh. <laughs> Developers note, Wernesh is not the first time the Germans have left themselves be distracted by a secondary objective to the point of derailing their main offensive. Uh, I don't want to read anymore. Victory at Tobruk. Look at this little Wernesh we got going on. Look at this. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna hunker down, man. You guys have done your job. I, You guys have been... You're exhausted. Get some rest. I would say same with you guys. You need some rest too. And then while they're resting, we need to send them back up. All right, let's like attack a couple more times and I'll wrap this video up. Is it, I, I could play this until the very end, but this video would be way too long. Let's blitz it. Man, they are not giving that up. You guys, somebody's got to break through here. Get some progress, maybe. Oh, shit. Congratulations, your objectives 
have been reached. This operation is now over. Sevastopol falls. Voronezh captured. And the Kerch offensive is successful. Bros, that's a wrap. If you guys are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will expect you for our next upload. Peace. Brumanati out.